Hi, I'm Sarah Webster, Editor-in-Chief of Manufacturing Engineering Media, and we're here at X1 today talking to Dave Burns, who is the president of the company, and we're talking to him a little bit about additive manufacturing and the possibility in full production manufacturing. And uh, Dave, can you tell us a little bit about X1 and how it got started and when you came on board? Sure. We started X1 in 2005. We're located outside of Pittsburgh. I was there at the uh, initiation of the company in 2005, so I've been here for eight years. And the premise of the company when we began was to pursue innovative technologies and see if we could help incubate them and grow them. We gravitated immediately toward additive manufacturing, and that's kind of become the core of what we do now. Some people are very skeptical that additive manufacturing has a place in the full production or the industrial side of the business. Um, tell us what you think of that and what your vision is for X1's future. Sure. Well, I think the skepticism is not unwarranted in the sense that from a historical perspective, additive manufacturing began as a process that was fairly slow with really a limited material set. So the obvious conclusion is, well, if you increased your volumetric output over time and you increase the material set you could offer, would you conquer perhaps some of that initial uh, skepticism? And I think the answer is clearly yes. Our ethic as a company, if you look at two or three strategic thrusts, one would be how do we produce ever more volume per unit time? Um, with the same, let's say, uh, machine capacity. And secondly, how do you attack the whole material side, making sure that you're developing materials and certifying them at industrial levels to make sure that they're qualified. And we've got really aggressive programs in place for both. Talk to me a little bit more. You mentioned the challenge of time or speed to produce. Um, how aggressive uh, is, are your goals as a company to bring that time down? Sure. We're a print head based company. Uh, there's a variety of approaches to additive manufacturing. Uh, a lot of people put layers down and then bind the layers somehow. We use a, a print head technology that was originally licensed from MIT. So our constraint in terms of volume tends to be how fast can we make the print head go? And in fact, um, we've increased the volumetric output of our machines probably a, by a factor of four to five over the last three years. Uh, when people think about it in manufacturing, they often talk about envelopes that are maybe a cube this big. Mm -hmm. Our biggest build envelope is a meter eight by a meter by three quarters of a meter. And we're today, for one customer application in Germany, printing all of that volume in about eight hours. You know, I've been on this lean journey my whole manufacturing career, and I always realized the boundaries we had. We could get really good but there was always sort of a ceiling on how far you could go. A lot of the, the constructs that keep that ceiling in place are removed when you jump into the additive world. And so my great hope, and I, there's no doubt in my mind this is gonna happen over the next 10 to 20 years, having that higher ceiling toward true optimization, I mean an absolutely clean system where you get exactly what you want, when you want it, how you want it, is really the end goal. And additive has the potential to get there. Uh, we're certainly not there yet, but um, we're getting there bit by bit. One final question. Um, in some ways, additive is just a complete change in mindset mm -hmm. for people in this industry. Can you talk just a little bit about that and what you encounter and how you convince people that additive is sure. worth a while as a venture? Sure. Well, there's a combination of and a show's a great place to ask this question because obviously we're talking to people all day long. A lot of folks walk in and, and they cross their arms and they say, well, you know, not enough materials and too expensive. That's sort of where we start the conversation. By the time we're done, when we tour people and we show them the real applications we're doing for customers all over the world, they begin to understand that um, the dynamism of what's happening in the additive world almost implies that you can't depend on the knowledge you had six months ago because the answer's changed. I think the rest of the manufacturing technology world um, isn't changing at that rate. So the answer I knew six months ago, maybe the answer still that I know today. But I've had customers walk in who said, you know, a year ago you quoted and you were too expensive. And I said, well, let's quote again. We've driven down our production time by a factor of three since the last time we talked. And we re-quote and he's, my God, your price is half of what it was. The answer is, well, yeah, because we're changing so fast. So if there's one message I guess I would give to people, it's try to keep up with what's really happening today. 
try not to say I looked at it two years ago because the industry two years ago bears very little resemblance to the industry today. Well, thank you so much for your time. It's truly an exciting technology, and uh, thank you for stopping by. You're welcome. Thanks, sir.